Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Today we are drinking Life Force. It's a <laughs> Galaxy Smash <laughs> All IPA. Right. All right. Today we're going to bring to you a Patreon request by John Adano. And this one is 1995's Ice Cream Man. You don't want to play with the Ice Cream Man? <laughs> This movie stars Clint Howard, who of course is like an icon in these B movies. Yep. He was in Evil Speak, which we covered a while back. He was also Balak in Star Trek, the original yep. Star Trek, as a kid, a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> and now the Tron, yeah. <laughs> Olivia Hussey. Hussey? 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 Hussey. Hussey. Is in this. She was in the Canadian classic Black Christmas. She was also in The Cat and the Canary, which we covered. And she's in Psycho 4, oh, yes. which we covered as well. David Naughton's in this. He's famously in American Werewolf in London. Yep. He's also in John Carpenter's Body Bags, which we covered. David Warner's in this, who just recently passed away. He is in Waxwork, which we covered. Tons of movies. The guy's filmography is huge. He's yep. basically a legend. So the movie starts off, you see an ice cream truck kind of rolling by, and then this car comes by and does some wicked drive-by <laughs> and just shoots the fucking ice cream truck up. Oh, no, <laughs> ice cream. What did the ice cream man do? <laughs> They just fucking riddle this thing with holes, man, and then they just take off. And you see this little kid come up to the truck. Who's gonna bring the ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> That's like a, probably one of the best openings of a movie. Yeah, yeah. So it fast forwards to the present day, and we get introduced to Gregory, and now he's the ice cream man. Or the ice cream prince, to be more precise. And he's taken over the truck and the business from the ice cream king. <laughs> I just painted over a king and writes <laughs> prince. <laughs> Everyone remembers when the ice cream yeah. man came around as a kid. Ice cream! Yeah, yeah. You start freaking out and you gotta run out and catch him. There's a group of four kids and they come around. They all want ice cream. The one kid, an orange push pop, please. <laughs> and the other one kid, he wants a hard pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of a hard pack before. I've heard of hard ice cream, but a hard, hard pack. <laughs> hard pack your ass. Gregory, when he goes to reach in and get all that ice cream, there's all these bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Cockroaches and mice and all this. So you know something's going on right away with Gregory here. Tuna, when they get onto the playground, he all trips and his ice cream lands in the sand. <laughs> he just kind of wipes it off a bit and starts eating. He still eats. <laughs> at the playground, there's a groundskeeper and he's sort of stabbing at like garbage and stuff like that. Picking First you pick it up and then you put it in the bag. Bump, bump, bump. And there's another kid who stays behind and all the other kids go home. And the ice cream man pulls up and so the kid figures, well, it'll go and get an ice cream. He doesn't come home. We also get flashbacks of Gregory in this asylum and he's getting like all this weird green shit injected into his brain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, there's two detectives that start coming around wanting to know about this kid who went missing. The one detective orders a hard pack, <laughs> puts the eyeballs and all this weird <laughs> shit, <laughs> oh, <laughs> shoves it in, <laughs> uh, onto the ice cream, eating all those eyeballs. Small Paul is his nickname. Yeah, that Macaulay Culkin The Macaulay Culkin page master kid. <laughs> yeah. He sees the ice cream man parked in his parking lot. He's like, oh, he's going to go get some ice cream. Yeah. Kind of hitting it off a little bit. And he's like, you know, I was sick when I was a kid. And ice cream, I was sick when I was a kid, too. <laughs> so they kind of, like, start bonding. Small Paul sees that groundskeeper's stick roll out of the ice cream truck. And it's all covered in blood. And ice cream man just snatches him up. And Tuna saw this and goes home. And now, ice cream man, he kidnapped Small Paul. Well, no one believes him. Police actually get a warrant and go to Gregory's plant. Shows him the warrant. Can I keep that officer? <laughs> 
they don't do as much searching as they do smashing. They <laughs> smash the shit out of poor Gregory's like ice cream factory. But they can't find him. Gregory goes in and there's like a secret compartment that he opens up and Small Paul's stashed in there. Showing Small Paul how to make the ice cream and how it's done and the special ingredient that he puts in. Yeah, yeah. Gregory goes to make a home delivery. This kind of milfy kind of woman. Like, do you do home delivery? Yes, yeah, I'll take a canister of your hard pack. <laughs> yeah. So Gregory goes to deliver some hard pack. Well, she's having an affair with one of the kid's dads and Gregory parks in front of his car. He can't get out. He's like, ah, ice cream man. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here, ice cream man. Gregory kills him with his waffle <laughs> iron. This giant <laughs> Goes up in the woman's house with this big giant cone with David Naughton's head on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all crazy. And he kills her. So at this point, the kids know, well, two of their friends have gone missing. Mount this rescue to go get them. They hop on their bikes. They got these sick rocket yeah. things. They want to take pictures of the ice cream man in the act to show to the police that he is doing these things. And that's where we're going to end the plot. If you want to find out if they catch the ice cream man, or if the ice cream man catches them, yeah, finish watching the movie. <laughs> but why should you watch the ice cream man? Well, one of the biggest reasons is Clint Howard. I think he was almost tailor-made for the role yeah, here, yeah. for God's <laughs> sakes. But let's face it, Clint Howard kind of looks a tad odd, he's right? He's a weird-looking guy. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> a bit of a weird-looking guy. So the, the role sort of suits him perfectly. Ice cream men can be scary. I remember when I was a kid, all the ice cream men that came around were kind of creepy, weird guys. Yeah, like these carny guys. Carny type guys, especially we had what was called the Dickie D guys in our neck of the woods who would drive the bike. Yeah, with those bells. With the bells, on. ding, ding, ding. And one of them actually stalked my dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> True story. Once my dad bought a whole box of ice cream sandwiches from the ice cream man. <laughs> he's thinking, you know, well, I'll just buy a box and I don't have to worry about buying anymore, right? Well, the ice cream man, like, thought my dad's going to buy a box every day or every time. So he'd actually stop in front of my dad's house and wait. And ring those and bells. Ring those bells. <laughs> and I remember, like, wanting to go out to play. And my dad's like, no, 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 don't go outside, don't go outside. <laughs> I'm like, why? Well, ice cream man will know I'm home. Ice cream man will know I'm home. He's got all the <laughs> curtains closed and peeking out the sliver. And ice cream man's out there. And if you don't think it's true, I got a picture of me and my dad in the 90s. Not even by my dad's house. We're elsewhere. Yeah, some other part of the city. And that ice cream man is in the background of that picture on that bike. The cast for this movie is actually really damn good for a fucking straight-to-video movie. All-star cast. Yeah, like, you'd never expect it. And everybody does a good job in it, too. You yeah. believe the roles they're playing. Even the kids are good. Yeah. And kids can wreck movies, as we've talked about in previous reviews. The Shining. Yep. New Nightmare. These kids wreck the fucking movies. Well, these kids are actually pretty decent. All the adults are crazy. There's that weird religious family where that mom's all speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. Foaming in there. What the fuck? The is dad's it? doing that sermon and doing that <laughs> fake stigmata shit. Like, it's basically taking the piss out of all these things. Taking the piss out of being an adult. Yeah. Uh, all the adults look like complete assholes. You're not supposed to really believe their world. You're supposed to believe the kids' world, right? And the kids are the smart ones, yeah. really. Very self-aware. It knows what it is. It knows it's a campy, dark comedy, basically. And it's legitimately funny. It's not funny because it's bad, or because the acting's bad, or this is cheesy. There's legitimately funny parts in this movie. They take pictures of the ice cream man on the brother's camera and he finds out, he's like, where's my camera? When we took the film to get developed, he's like, oh no! His picture's coming out of the developer and it's all him having sex with his girlfriend. <laughs> yes. he's like, oh no! <laughs> and when she takes the film to be developed and she's talking to an idiot working there, it's a hilarious scene because he's always reading from that, the yeah. prices on the wall, that'll be... <laughs> it's 
a moron. The kills are pretty good in this movie for what it is too, right? Yep. And they're all like ice cream related. Like he uses ice cream utensils to kill people, right? With that waffle iron. Yeah. And those scoops. The effects are quite good, especially the fake heads that they yeah. use. When he's got David Naughton's head on that giant ice cream yeah. cone. Looks really it good. It looks really good. <laughs> And same thing when he's got those cops, he kills mm -hmm. the two cops and puts them on those... <laughs> the scoops? Yeah, and he's, he's all using them as puppets. <laughs> and, and then he all throws the one head away. Yeah. <laughs> like, it looks really good. It's lit really well. Yep. A lot of shadows. It's colorful, but dark at the same time, which is kind of neat. It doesn't look cheap. Even though it's a straight-to-video movie, it has a little bit of that look. Yep. But it looks better than most straight to video movies. The only thing that really gives it away is the the fact that the music is pretty generic. It's got that straight to video music. Yeah, they didn't really put that money into the budget yeah. there, you yeah. know. Creepy shots like when he pulls up to the house lit from the inside of the truck and mm -hmm. the kids are looking out the window and he's just kind of staring at them. The settings for this movie are pretty good. The ice cream truck too, yeah. right? Like the ice cream truck is a setting. Almost a character on its own too, right? Yeah. Because a lot of stuff happens in the truck. And it's creepy in there. Yeah, it's lit really well. He's always putting people in the freezer. Places like the mental asylum, which is pretty crazy. Apparently they used a real mental asylum. A real abandoned mental asylum and all the graffiti and shit was already there. And the fact that it just takes place in like this kind of suburban middle America Mm -hmm. It kind of takes the piss out of suburban middle America, which is kind of neat. I yeah. like that. Where it's like, oh, this is all supposed to be perfect. But really, everyone is insane. Everybody should be safe. Yeah. Right? But they're not. But they're not, right? Because yeah. you got this fucking ice cream man trolling around. And one thing about this movie, too, is they, they could have went two directions. They could have went legitimately scary or the direction they did go, which is kind of fun and campy. I think this movie also would have worked really well if they went the scary route. I'd like to see a scary version of this movie. So if you're looking for a legitimately good movie with Clint... Uh, ice cream and beer? Not a very good combo. No. Basically, Ice Cream Man is just a really fun, dark comedy that doesn't take itself too seriously. It's legitimately a fun, funny movie. Yep. And it's actually a quite a good movie for kids. It's a good gateway for kids into horror movies because it's essentially a kids movie. So if you're looking for a good fun movie to watch you can eat some ice cream with, check out Ice Cream Man. And until then, keep drinking.